I'm Emily Greenspan, owner of a company called Tag Arts. Tag Arts is an art consulting firm. We provide knowledge, experience, advice for those people who want to buy art for their homes and businesses. Today we're in Chelsea, and I'm going to walk you to a few contemporary art galleries and teach you how to look at art, how to buy art, and how to display it properly in your home. The most common question I get asked is, should I buy for financial investment? The answer is no. Buy what you love and be smart about what you're spending. If you don't, you're going to wind up with a mediocre collection and probably a lot of pieces that you don't really care for. The biggest red flag is spending too much money on a young emerging artist. That is a big no-no. If you buy what you truly love, over time, your collection will increase in value and you will be happy both financially and aesthetically. I think it's really important in every collection to diversify. Mix it up a bit. Don't just buy photography, but consider paintings, sculpture, works on paper, prints. Look at everything. There's another great gallery down the street I want to check out. Let's go. Here we are at Senior and Shopmaker, another contemporary art gallery in Chelsea. They specialize in fine art prints. Don't confuse these with museum posters. Each of these artists collaborate with master printers to work very carefully. They number, sign, and date each one. This is a great way for a new collector to buy an amazing work of art by a well-established artist, but not break the bank with their budget. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Just because they have a show up in the front room doesn't mean that there isn't more in the back. Galleries always have closets, back rooms, drawers of extra work by their artists. What I love about contemporary art is that the artist is still alive, so you can talk to them, ask them questions, find out what they were thinking, or how they made their art, why they made their art. The search continues on to the next gallery. So our last stop on our gallery tour is Margaret Thatcher. I love the artists they represent. Some of them I even have in my own home. You may have noticed that in all these galleries, they don't display the prices next to the works of art. That's okay. Go up to the front desk and ask for the price sheet. And once you take a look at the price, don't be alarmed. There's always room for negotiation. Right now, it's a great time to buy European art. It's a real bargain, but currencies change. So do your research and take advantage when the dollar is strong. Okay, so we've seen the art in the galleries. Let's take a look and see what it looks like in somebody's home. Art can look drastically different in any given space, depending on the light, the colors, the decor, the size of your room. So take that into account when you're shopping. Sometimes the gallery will let you take the piece out on approval. I am not the biggest fan of wallpaper for several reasons. First of all, it's really difficult to hang art on top of wallpaper, especially if you choose a really fussy, busy pattern. Instead, use your artwork as your wallpaper. Don't be afraid to fill a whole wall with a big, bold painting. People often wonder why a lot of contemporary paintings are unframed. Framing is at the discretion of the artist, but a lot of times, part of the beauty of the painting spills onto the sides as well. The key to all this is to figure out what you really love. And the only way to do that is to look at a lot of art. So go gallery hopping on the weekends. It's fun, it's free, and you never know what you might find.